You ever find yourself wishing your phone would just stop making that damn ringing noise whenever you pick it up? Like, we're picking up the phone, we don't need to hear that nasty ringtone no more, right? Well, enter Pick Ring Stop. This app does exactly what the doctor ordered. You simply activate it and if your phone starts ringing, as soon as you pick it up, the app will silence that ringtone. And just like that, we're back with the April edition of the top Android app. So without further ado, let's get cracking. Droidcam is a fantastic app that essentially transforms your phone into a souped up webcam for your laptop or computer device. You download it on your phone and then on your PC device and after a fairly simple pairing process, just like that, you'll now be able to use your phone as a webcam. The latency is negligible to my eyes and not only is this gonna vastly improve the quality of your video meeting conferences going forward, but it's also an incredible solution for those who, like me, use a desktop PC with an external monitor that does not have a webcam. Pika is an application that takes custom charging animations to a whole nother level altogether. So where previous apps I've showcased in a similar vein have just featured a handful of similar, yet still impressive charging animations, Pika Show flips this by playing host to a huge library of custom charging animations, each of which will help to spice up that otherwise fairly dull process of juicing up your phone. Now the app works off of coupons, which means you have to either buy them or earn them by watching ads. So choose wisely when selecting your charging animation, but it does look really cool and the amount of animation Animations there are to choose from is really impressive. Picture this is a fun application for those who enjoy the greener things in life, i.e. plants. So the app allows you to use your phone's camera to scan any plants that might be in your near vicinity and it will then attempt to analyze that image and tell you exactly what plant it is. I've got a bunch of cool plants in the office which I couldn't remember the names of just recently and this app successfully identified all of them. Keep in mind you only have three free scans per day so use them wisely but it's still a very cool app if you ask me. Pure Rider is what you could call an elegant yet minimal note-taking application. I honestly find it hard to put into words what makes this app so nice for note-taking. It could be the fluid animations that follow your cursor as you type, could also be all of the little handy shortcuts in this menu at the bottom that make formatting your notes an absolute breeze. Whatever it is, I just really dig it. And even though it looks minimal, there are actually a bucket load of features that actually make the app really feature rich. Hey, you know who else has an incredibly cool app? Well, it's of course our friends over at Skillshare who are also today's video sponsor. So Skillshare is an incredible online learning community that has tens of thousands of classes across a wide range of categories, including graphic design, video editing, and cinematography, just to name a few. And what's awesome is that you just pay a monthly price and that gives you access to any class that you like. Now in my recent Galaxy S21 review, I mentioned that I had just started watching an incredible class on Skillshare called the Stop Motion Look, which is an After Effects course that unpacks how to create these really funky and realistic looking stop motion animations. In that video, I mentioned that I was still working my way through the class, but little did I know that during post-production, I would find myself just completely hooked by this technique. So I actually ended up including a small portion of it in the final video. The class is nearly three hours long, so I haven't actually completed it yet, but I've already learned some really cool techniques as a result, and I'm excited to sink my teeth into the rest of it. Skillshare Premium starts at less than $10 a month, but because they're sponsoring today's video, they are offering a free trial to the first 1,000 people who use my link down in the description below. So definitely make sure that you check it out and get learning. Now, with the introduction of Android 11, one of the newer features that I didn't really love to begin with was the redesigned power menu. It just felt like an unnecessary use of space, particularly if you're someone like me who doesn't have that many smart home devices in the house. But power menu controls all of a sudden gives this updated power menu some really useful functionality. Much like applications that allow you to put custom toggles into your quick settings panel, this app lets you place custom controls into your power menu. So you can enable a brightness slider or a toggle that turns on your phone's torch. There's also shortcuts that allow you to control your phone's rotation settings, the system volume, and even to take screenshots. Plus, there's a bunch more as well. For me, this is a really useful application that I'll be using a lot more going forward. The Reeve Pro Icon Pack is a really neat icon pack that I featured in my recent episode of the best Nova Launcher setups, so much so that I decided to include it in today's Top Apps video as well. 
The icons have a really nice and minimalistic look to them. And there's already close to 1500 custom icons supported with more being added each and every week. If you read the reviews on the Play Store, you'll also see that the developer is responding pretty fast to custom icon requests as well. And whilst there is a light version that you can try before buying, the pro version seems to be the way to go given how well it's supported. Now the developer has been kind enough to give me say it with me, some promo codes to give away, which I'll be doing so over on my Twitter account this month. So make sure that you follow me over there to have the best chance at claiming one of those codes. How's you go? Now, Reaction Training is a really simple educational slash game-based app that's main priority is to help develop your reaction skills. To progress through the game, all you need to do is complete challenges. Each challenge is based around tapping something as quickly as possible. And obviously the goal is to react really, really fast. Some levels are easier than others, but it's definitely a bit of fun and a great way to pass the time. Zigzag is another really cool live wallpaper application that can make an otherwise dull looking home screen setup look absolutely out of this world. I mean, you just take one look at it and there's no questioning how mesmerizing it can be. It does have some small responsiveness to your swipes and to your hand movement, but to unlock all of the customization settings, you will need to upgrade to the premium version. And finally today, OLED Saver is a really unique application designed to help phones that have flickering displays, but it also has a secondary really handy function as well. So some phones with OLED displays have been known to flicker when they've been set to fairly low brightness settings. You can even see it here with my OnePlus 8T. Now I can't actually see it with my eyes, it's just my camera that's seeing it, but this is caused by the fact that with an OLED display, in order to dim the screen's brightness, the electrical current flowing through the OLED pixels has to be reduced and this can sometimes cause flickering. So with OLED Saver, instead of reducing this electrical current, it will instead place a transparent black layer over your display, thereby making it appear dimmer without actually being dim, if that makes sense. You can even see it here in practice with the OnePlus 8T. With OLED Saver enabled, there's no longer any more flickering. Now usually these types of apps are undone by the fact that they can't dim certain elements of your phone's UI, like the status bar or the navigation bar, but somehow this is not an issue with OLED Saver. But the other benefit to this app is that you can actually use it to essentially lower your phone's screen brightness even further than what the native settings allow you to. Perfect for late night scrolling. But that's it. If you enjoyed the video, then a sub would be really appreciated. And don't forget to hit that little notification bell and switch the setting to all, because that's literally the only way that you're guaranteed to be notified whenever I release a new video. As well as that, don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram to have a chance at claiming one of the many promo codes that I give away each month. But aside from that, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Thank you all very much for watching and I will catch you later. Thank you.